Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today we will discuss about another coding question which is from Nagaro coding test. So this question is very very important for Nagaro coding test as well as other coding competitions because exactly these questions may not come in the other exams but these types of questions may come in your other exams. So we will first discuss the questions here and then we will write the program. So here is the question computer class. So Ron had a course introduction to C++ in his school curriculum. Currently topic randomization is going on in his class. The teacher taught the students how to use rand function. So this is the random function to generate random numbers in C++ and asked them to play with it to learn more about it. So Ron decided to write a program to generate some random numbers. His program worked fine but he did not like that the maximum value generated in the set of numbers is more than the twice the minimum value generated. So here is the point his program worked fine but he did not like that maximum value generated in the set of numbers is more than twice the minimum value generated. So we will discuss it in the example sections. So he decide to delete the numbers such that the condition does not occur anymore. You have to help him find the minimum number of deletions. Okay, here is our example. So in our example, there are two inputs and one output. So here first input is 5 because there are 5 numbers. So you can see that in input 2 there are actually 6 numbers. So except zeros there are 5 numbers. So these numbers are generated by Ron. So your task is to delete the number from these random numbers which double is less than any of these numbers. So here you can see here in these 5 numbers. So double of 1 is 2. So 1 into 2 equals to 2. So 2 is less than 4. So 2 is also less than 5. So if you find these types of number then we will delete it. You don't have to delete it. You just have to count how many such numbers are there. So here in these 5 integer numbers we have only 1 numbers, 1 such type of numbers. So our output will be 1. So you can see the explanation part as well. So we will see the next example. So in example 2 you can see there are two inputs. So in the input 1 there is 2. So 2 means in the input 2 there are two integers. So 8 and 6. So we'll check if twice of 6 is less than 8 or not. So twice of 6 is 12 which is not less than 8. So our output will be 0 because no such types of number is present in our input 2 which twice is less than the other numbers. So our output will be 0. Okay friends, hope you understand the question. So we'll solve it now. As include beats standard C dot h using namespace standard. Okay, first we'll write the main function here. So in the main function, we'll write an array, suppose array a and our input was you can see our input was 0 4 5 4 1 5 so 0 4 5 4 1 5 we'll calculate the size of the array so in n equals to size of a near the array by size of a0 Now we'll write a function to calculate the minimum number of deletions. So suppose our function name is mean deletion and we'll first the array and the size of the array and finally we'll display it to the screen. So here we'll write the same function the return type will be integer. So int mean deletion and here we'll write the array so name of the array is integer array and int n and insert this so here 
we first sort this array so we know how to sort a uh, array using a single line so we'll sort this array using a single sort function so just to write the sort function then the name of the array then comma then again the name of the array plus the size of the array so this will sort the array and this will give us as 0 1 4 4 5 and 5 so in this array we will iterate from position 2 to the last position and inside this we will write another for loop which will iterate from this position 1 before the outer for loop so we will write the for loop for int i equals to 2 i less than n i plus plus and inside this we will write another for loop so for so j equals to 1 j less than i j plus plus so now we will check if array of i is greater than twice the array of j if this condition satisfied then we will increase our count value so for that we have to initialize it here int count equals to 0 so our initial count value is 0 and we will increase it if this condition satisfied and finally we will return the count value so let's run it let's see what happened oh you can see there is error j was not declared in this curve in line number 8 okay int okay let's run it again okay you can see here our output is 4 so which is not correct because our expected output was 1 so you can see here our expected output was 1 so where is the problem you can see for the first for loop we iterate from 2 to the last of the array so from 2 this 4 to last of the array and for the second for loop we iterate from j equals to 1 to j less than i so j starts from this position this one positions and j less than i so if our outer for loop is here then our inner for loop will run from this one to this one and if our outer for loop is suppose here 5 and our inner for loop will iterate from this one to this 4 so every time it will start from this one to this four then this one to this second four and next time this one to this five so we have to write such a logic that if if this if condition satisfied then our j value increased okay all right suppose another variable k so k's initial value is one so our j value will be k so now j equals to 1 so j starts from this one and if this condition is satisfied then j value will be increased because we don't want this one will count for every outer value of the for loops so for that we write this k here and every time this condition is satisfied we will increase the k value and finally we will return the count value okay now we will run the program and let so friends here we can see our output is 1 so this is the correct output so we'll run this again by giving another input suppose here is 12 and here is 25 okay okay here is our output is 4 so how we will know that if our output is correct or not so here you can see in this array there is 12 so the twice of 12 is 24 which is less than 25 so this will be count because this will be deleted the next value of 5 so our next value of 5 the twice of 5 is 10 which is less than 12 as well as less than 25 so this will also be deleted and similarly 4 will be deleted and 1 will be deleted so the total number of deletions is 4 so our output is here for so hope you friends enjoyed this video if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and if you not subscribed to our channel yet then please subscribe it now because it will be helpful for your upcoming exams so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video